Today we're going to talk about something called superglobals inside PHP and basically a superglobal is when we have a variable that has already been created for us inside the PHP code itself. So I do actually have a couple of examples up here. I have five examples out of many because there's actually quite a few out there. But these are the five that I want to talk about in order to you know, actually have us be able to do something with PHP code, like creating a login system. So these are the ones we need to know about in order to do that sort of thing. And these are the ones that we're gonna focus on in the next couple of episodes. Now we're actually getting pretty close to be able to actually create something inside PHP, like I said, a login system. I keep using that as a reference, but we can, for example, create that after the next couple of episodes. So talking about super globals, we can actually go ahead and take the first one up here for this episode called globals. Now the basic idea behind globals is that we can actually go ahead and refer to any kind of variable inside the global scope, no matter where we are inside our document, whether we're inside a, you know, like a global scope or inside a local scope. So as you guys can see, I do actually have a variable here called X, which is equal to five, which is inside the global scope. And I have a function down here that has a variable inside of it called y, which is equal to 10. And this one is inside the local scope of the function. So let's say I want to call on this variable up here called x inside the function. Now, the typical way we want to do it is to actually go in and, you know, create some kind of variable inside the parentheses, like called x, which would then refer to this variable x up here when we actually call it out. So Instead, we can actually go inside the function and say we have a, uh, what do you call it, a global, a globals with an S behind it, brackets, quotes or single quotes, doesn't really matter. And then you're gonna write the name of the actual variable you wanna use inside this function. Now, doing it this way would actually, you know, it's not quite the same as putting in the variable up here in the parentheses because you can actually change the variable inside here when we'll actually call it out later on. If you if you go back to the function episode we have in our series here, you can you know see that we can actually change the name of the variable in here and call out another variable using just a function. Now using globals like this, you will always refer to the same variable outside the function. So if I were to type the name of the actual variable I want to call on in here, I can actually say x. Because right now this variable up here is called x. The dollar sign is, is just a symbol that means that this is a variable. So the actual variable name is X. So if I go ahead and say, you know, X in here, and if I actually were to echo it out, I can actually do that as well. So I'm gonna echo out globals X, and then I'm gonna call the function down here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and write something, because that's the actual name of the function. Go inside my browser, and you guys will see we got five because right now I'm calling a super global called X, which is out here. I haven't actually called it inside the parentheses and we still get an answer out of it. So this is the way we can use, for example, a super global like globals inside our code. And sometimes it can be quite nice to have something like this, but I would not recommend using it, you know, all the time because, you know, this is, for a different purpose than putting, you know, a variable inside the parentheses. You don't use it for the same thing. And like I said, you guys can go back and look at my functions episode to see, you know, why you want to use it inside here. But this should only be used in special cases. And you, you guys might have a reason to actually use it. Um, but don't use it as a substitute over simply calling a variable inside the parentheses. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And next one, we're going to talk about something called post and get super globals. And these are actually really important for you to know if you want to create like a login system or something. Again, I'm using a login system as a reference here, you know, as an example to tell you guys you can actually start creating this sort of thing once we start learning these sort of things. Um, but you will actually be able to, you know, pretty soon create a login system, even though you might not right now see how it's possible, you know, with all the stuff we've learned so far. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll see you guys next time.